What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Inside the Horseshoe. My name is Man. There's a lot of Colts fans that really like Alex Pierce, but should the Colts draft Alex Pierce? I'm going to get my thoughts in just a minute, but before I do that, if you're new or if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate if you would click that subscribe button. Also, click the bell icon. That way you're notified whenever I upload a video or when I go live. If you like this video, smack the like button. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think the Colts should draft Alex Pierce or should they pass? Let me know in the comments. And if you have a Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter at horseshoe underscore pod. There's a link in the description down below. So, like I said earlier, there's a lot of Colts fans that really want Alec Pierce. Um, Alec Pierce, obviously from Cincinnati, he is going to be more than likely a second round draft pick. Um, and he's pretty big. You know, he's uh, 6'3", 213 pounds, so he, he definitely is quite big. And then as far as stats go, you know, he had pretty good numbers, 52 catches, 884 yards, eight touchdowns, averaging about 17 yards per catch. So he had good stats, and he's also really fast. So with that being said, should the Colts draft Alec Pierce? And in my opinion, if Christian Watson is not available, because to me, Christian Watson is my favorite receiver that I think is a realistic get. If he's not available... Should they get Alec Pierce? I think so. Um, you talk about a guy that can stretch the field. You know, that's something Chris Ballard wants. Alec Pierce can do that for you, for sure. I mean, just watch the games. Watch his tape at Cincinnati, and you'll see how fast he is. He can get by defenders pretty easily. He's a good route runner. This guy's really good, man. Um, and honestly, I think if he was at, let's say, Alabama or Georgia, for example, or even LSU... We would be talking about Alec Pierce as a, you know, first rounder. That's how good Alec Pierce can be. Um, extremely fast. He's got good hands. He doesn't have a drop issue, which is a good thing. Like I said, he's big, and that's what Chris Ballard wants. He wants big receivers. And he's definitely big, so it's not like he's, you know, this skinny dude that can be knocked around easily. That's not going to happen at all. So he's a big guy. He's extremely fast, which to me, I think that is something that Chris Ballard wants. And speaking of that, would Chris Ballard draft Alec Pierce? And in my opinion, if Christian Watson's not available, again, I think so. I think he would draft Alec Pierce. You know, he's got the speed that I think Chris Ballard is looking for. Um, he's a good route runner. Um, you know, he's got good hands. He's big. These are things Chris Ballard looks for. And I think he would definitely go after him. Um, like I said, he's looking for somebody that can stretch the field. I don't think you're going to get that in free agency. I think you have to get that in the draft. Alec Pierce is the guy that can do that for you. So in my opinion, do I think Alec Pierce would be drafted by Chris Ballard? Absolutely. I, I think he would. Um, and honestly, I would be shocked if Alec Pierce was picked before uh, pick 42. I'd be really shocked. I don't think he's going to be available in the third round, but I think he's going to be available in the middle of the second round. So he should be available to get. That's not going to be a problem at all. So, yeah, I, I, I think the Colts would draft him if Christian Watson's not available. Now, let's say uh, Jamison Williams from Alabama for some reason falls into the second round. Obviously, the Colts are going to go after him. Or let's say Nalave. I think the Colts would go after Alave. But... Assuming those guys go where they should go, and assuming Watson's not available, and honestly, I'm thinking Watson is going to be a first-round pick. I just got a feeling he's going to be a first-round pick the more I think about it. If he's taken and Alec Pierce is available, he's going to take Alec Pierce. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new or if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate if you would click that subscribe button. Also, click the bell icon. That way you're notified whenever I upload a video or when I go live. If you like this video, smack the like button. Let me know your thoughts down below. Would you take Alec Pierce or would you pass on Alec Pierce? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you have a Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter at horseshoe underscore pod. There's a link in the description down below. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Matt Bleed Blue, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you watch one of these other two videos. They're cool. Also, if you're new, please click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon. I greatly appreciate your support.